Hello, Thomas the Cat family. Today is July the 8th, 2023. I'm going to teach you the consequences when you, of socially rejecting somebody. And, and I know it's going to lead to regret personally. <clears throat> Here's number one. Be responsible for that depression. If they're crying because they feel socially rejected, be responsible for that. Because as one thing f is for sure, everyone deserves to be treated equally. Okay. Number two is the second one. If they kill themselves, you're responsible for the obituary. Okay. Because if they kill themselves and it's over, uh, and you have to be at the funeral, you're responsible for that. You deserve to be held responsible till the day you die. I, and you can see that, and I will reference my context, but it's similar to her, that grieving woman from Jaws. Oh, that's where her mountain body took, took that mother's trust lightly. He, in the jab to the face, or across, in the cross to the face of Martin Brody, she was like this, I trusted you. You took it lightly. And my son was thrown into the fire because of you. Ooh. That's how you should feel like when it comes to the families. You have to say, hey, goodbye. Hi. You feel just like the Christmas story from that teacher. Yeah. Do you feel that remorse was uh, weighing on top of you? That's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. Because you're going to be responsible for the obituary. The third thing you're responsible for. You're responsible oh, for or another thing. You are responsible when they are society's problem. Um, because they, they harassed somebody because you socially rejected them, you're responsible for being society, for them being society's problem. Um, because you were the one who did the work. You have to pay the crime. Now you're gonna do the time. Here's number four. This one is very, very big, but you are also responsible when they're afraid that they cannot fit in and they're afraid of you, them being judged. They feel that way at the back of their head because you did it. And you know something? I feel all that way too. I have to learn but here's another thing I have to teach. I'm gonna teach myself. Well, actually, Michael Weatherly taught me personally. Just kids, you have let down. They were just kids, and I'm talking Michael Weatherly from NCIS episode Cadence. You've let when it comes with parents, teachers, us caregivers. If you were allowed to have a sibling, a son and daughter, exclude the, your son and daughter? They were just kids that needed belonging. And you took it lightly. They trusted you. You didn't make... You also didn't want to be in their life. They feel like they're going to be someone's problem. Um, they're afraid to die. They don't want to be in the position where they have to be a society's problem because you're making them pay for it. No. If you discipline them just to learn social rejection, well, that's something you're going to have to learn to regret. Because if you see their kid's tombstone, if you see in the socially rejected party's tombstone, well, if you see them in prison, 
or jail. You know, if you see them crying, you're responsible. They feel like they have to get lost because you did the job. And the little FYI, from my own insight learning, if you end up socially rejecting somebody, I'm not going to be held responsible for you. You're going to be responsible for the arbitrary, the whole thing, period. Because you are responsible for ruining their lives. And if you did that in public and it's on camera, well, good, good luck getting a good life. Because that's going to turn into a nightmare that you're never going to wake up in a beat. So, please, if you socially reject somebody because they're different than you, who? You do not want to be responsible for all of those. So, like I mentioned, please comment, like, rate, share, subscribe, discuss. And you have a good night.